Good day. My name is Red Outker Kool. I'm the CEO and one of the founders of the Europe chain. In 15 minutes, I, my intent is to explain you what we have been doing over the last few years in building an infrastructure for the internet of value, the internet of transactions. Uh, Bitcoin does eight transactions per second. Ethereum does 35 transactions per second. But to build the internet of value, we need millions of transactions per second. We have taken the first steps to build that. We have taken the leading protocol in this space, the leading third generation protocol in this space, and we have launched geographical chains, geographical public chains. The first one is the Europe chain, and we are working on a chain for India. We have already been copied in Latin America, the LAC chain, the Latin American Caribbean chain, also services that region, like we are servicing the Europe, the European region with European regulations. So let's share my screen and tell you a little bit about what we have been doing over the last two years. We've built a management team. We have built our employee team and our supplier team. We have built an ambassador team and we have taken steps to fulfill our mission. The left, on the left, you see blockchain as a service. Like I said, we are, our intent is to build the internet of value the internet of transactions. We need 10,000 transactions, per millions of transactions per second for that. And our Europe chain does 10,000 transactions per second. That means that we need multiple blockchains. We need multiple public blockchains and multiple private blockchains. Public blockchains for complete transparency, for use cases, for applications that need that public transparency. These blockchains need to be integrated with the ecosystem of wallets and block explorers. And the first one that we have live is the Europe chain, fully GDPR supporting. So if you as an enterprise or you as a, an investor or you as a startup, um, are thinking about an application to build on the blockchain. You can walk to your local system integrator, I would say, or a big one in your country, and that we hope that this system integrator will become one of our partners, and together we can provide you blockchain capacity and and, not, and, and an ecosystem of tools. If you need a private blockchain, if you're an enterprise, we provide private blockchain services. You, don't, you cannot only do that with only some blockchain capacity. A key component of our vision, of our mission, is our enablement layer. In the last few weeks, We've also done a lot of NFT consulting and a lot of NFT projects. And one of those projects is uh, with a large auction uh, organization. And I will use that organization as an example. This organization uh, wanted to do auctions on the blockchain. Uh, you can't do that on uh, Ethereum, you have all kinds of technical limitations and transaction fees, front running in transactions. So the best way to properly organize that is to launch your own blockchain, your private block blockchain for an auction house. You need clients. These clients need to be KYC identified and not everybody wants to share all their, or one can share their identity, but in the culture of 
this uh, ecosystem, people prefer to be private and manage their own uh, cryptographic keys and manage their own identities. The organization, the auction house also likes that because if you lose identities, you can be fined huge sums of money um, according to the current GDPR regulations. So this auction house thinks, oh, this is interesting. So we have an identity tool where the users themselves manage their identities, manage themselves their documents that they want to share. So our platform provides that. We call that enab our enablement layer and our identity tooling is one of those components. Um, this auction house can auction NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible tokens are very interesting. Non-fungible tokens is just the name for everything that has a unique digital, uh, is a unique digital item. If you talk to your children, they will explain you about skins in games, rare items in uh, Fortnite or Roblox. These items in these games are NFTs. In these games, that the current generation of games, these items cannot be traded outside of the game. They are in-game non-fungible tokens. In the internet of value, these games these items go outside of the game. So everybody can trade, buy, sell these items on eBay. You can email them to another. That's the future. The internet of value, transparent layers of public and private blockchains that exchange these items of value. And these items of values are called NFTs. And for that, we're building our public blockchain, our enablement layer, and our NFT consulting. For that, we need money. And we're raising 550,000 euros equity capital so that we can continue to build our enablement layer. The valuation is 10 million for the Europe chain and the, and the uh, Sacha chain and the enablement layer company. The mother company is called Zizan Holding. That's very, very, very competitive if you compare ourselves to the competition. I spoke about this enablement layer and this enablement layer consists of three, I would say, components. I know there's four blocks, but MyDi and Flowbook, Flowbook are one, in my opinion. MyDi is our identity system and Flowbook is our enterprise approval and workflow engine. So let's say you um, do, uh, do something on, in a process in your organization, somebody executes something somebody audits something and somebody approves it. So that's a three-step three process involving three identities. The three identities are, will be stored in MIDI and the three-step process will be organized within Flowbook. All the steps that these people need to do or need to prove can be captured by using FACT. FACT is an ecosystem, including a mobile app. This mobile app can capture evidence. So a frontliner, as we call it. So somebody who's really doing the work, uh, a truck driver delivering goods, um, and he discovers the goods are damaged. He can capture that as evidence and immutably store that on the blockchain. Zizan, and this is just one, uh, one example, Zizan is our asset 
management tooling. So the non-fungible tokens that I spoke about earlier are basically managed within Sizem. Fact, our mobile app. Mighty, our identity tooling. As I said, we need uh, an investment of 550 to finish building this tooling. Mighty is currently in uh, beta. It can be viewed on, I think, staging.mighty.online. And we will continue building this to um, a fully, if you're a little bit technical, DID and verified credential uh, based identity system. And these are next generation um, pieces of standards that the web, uh, the W3C, the organization that manages um, HTTP, uh, all, all the internet protocols, let's call it just all the internet protocols. So Mighty will be fully compliant to the latest standards in this space. These, and I think this will be our last picture to explain what we are doing. This is a typical enablement structure. So you have your application ecosystem on the top, it can be a real estate application, a logistics application, financial application. Underneath you have the enablement layer and a trust layer, which can be the Europe chain. But if you want, it could be a different blockchain if you choose to not use the Europe chain or the chain for India. Thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please approach me.